Sí, el cartel lo puedes poner abajo. Gracias, ahí. No, no, que yo lo vea. Eso, ahí. Aquí. Ajá. Eso. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here once again from the Cannon Club, the Open Cannon Club in Old San Juan at the Gallery Inn. Uh, Jan de Sopo, the owner and the founder of the Stanway Society of Puerto Rico, and myself, Jose Ramos Santana. And we're here. Welcome and greetings to everybody. All kinds of bells and hats on. <laughs> because I was presented with this to celebrate my birthday. She's still celebrating her birthday, which yes, is fun. They yes. said it could be a month, so. <laughs> Whole month of June. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Remember, yes. you can always tune to us, right? At the canon.club at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to those who are in the East or in the Far West. And also, you can find us on YouTube. Subscribe us, uh, to us to our YouTube channels, uh, like us on Facebook, follow on Instagram, and don't forget there is a donate button for the Stanway Society of Puerto Rico, which is the organization that sponsors and helps the young Puerto Rican talents uh, to study in the island and abroad. So Jan, we are honored and proud today yeah. to have one of the most spectacular uh, artists that this island has ever produced, the internationally... You are fabulous, too. <laughs> no, but he's an he's a opera singer, I mean, a, a pianist, but Justino Diaz, the great Justino Diaz, which is one of our prides um, in the island and international. He has had international career with the greatest singers, Pavarotti, Diaz, uh, uh, Leontine Price, you name them, he has sung with them all. Uh, and uh, the great uh, th uh, theaters of the world, uh, the Scala, uh, the Buenos Aires uh, Co Teatro Colón, the San Francisco Opera Chicago, and he was the found, I mean the <laughs> founder, yes, he was the first singer along with uh, Leontine Price to inaugurate the Metropolitan Opera House in uh, the, the house of Lincoln Center, Center in 1965. I still remember, I was very young, but I used to see the cover. And Justino was very young. He still was Justino very young. Was very young. <laughs> the new Amazing. Met and the cover of Life magazine with the Leontine Price and our Justino Diaz uh, inaugurating the Metropolitan Opera House. So, oh, wonderful. hello, Justino. We are Justino, here. You're with us. Hope you're with. There we oh, are. Wonderful. <laughs> ah, wonderful. Ah, fabulous. fabulous. <laughs> and it always. And happy birthday, Jen. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy. Oh, great. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Oh, good to see you, my dear. Uh, sitting beside yourself with that <laughs> portrait that was done. Oh, my, your... my my friend here. Yeah, <laughs> where, where is my friend? My friend here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A very good friend of mine, <laughs> of the artist. And uh, right now, um, Kiko, he's, she is sitting right next to you. That's right. <laughs> well, we are wonderful <laughs> friends, too. It's been a thank while. Thank you, Jan. Thank oh. you. Thank you. <laughs> it's always wonderful to see you, to be with you. And it's been every now and then we meet at a concert. But it's wonderful to have you right in front of us this afternoon. So good. We're going to ask Great you to some, be here. Great to so be we're here. We're going to ask you some fun questions and then we're going to hear some yeah. wonderful stuff that you've recorded that we're going to share with everybody. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's start <laughs> with a question. So, Justino, uh, bring us back to uh, your beginnings. You began at the chorus of Augusto Rodriguez, the Puerto Rico University Choir, right? That's right. That's right. And after uh, that? I was uh, about uh, 16 years old, and uh, uh, I started in the chorus of the operas that, uh -huh. that used to take place here. So, uh, and then after that, I became a member of the uh, chorus of the university. And I was with them, what, three years after that, before I went to school in Boston. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, that's where I made my debut in uh, Puerto Rico. Ah, wonderful. Do you remember what role were you? Yes, it was Ben in the telephone. Oh. <laughs> uh, by, by Giancarlo Carlo Menotti, Menotti. Who you knew very, and, very uh, well. Oh, I love Of course, yes, of course. Yes, I, yes. Did a, I did a, uh, lots of productions right. by him. Right. <laughs> And then you went to the New England Conservatory, right? That's correct. That's yes, correct. Right, right. And yeah. I was there a few years, and then uh, I uh, I moved to New York. Mm -hmm. I didn't finish. I I dropped out because they told me go to New York. You'll you'll get a job there soon <laughs> enough. <laughs> and uh, good advice. A after. Yeah, after one year there, I won the uh, med auditions, uh -huh. and uh, they gave me a contract. And I was, I was uh, 23 years old when that, all of that happened. Wow, that's, um, phenomenal. that's a lot. So uh, every, that uh, everything happened. happened when I was very young. Yeah, right, right. And you met Mr. Barber, right, uh, Samuel Barber. Tell us a little uh, bit about uh, your recollections with the great American composer. Oh, well, uh, Samuel Barber, of course, uh, by now, he's a legend. He's a legend. And uh, back then, he was uh, uh, enormously uh, famous right. conductor as, in as are you, American conductor. Justino, as are you. <laughs> you. It is such an honor to have you with us tonight. And I know that there are a lot of people tuning in just to get a little closer glimpse of you in person at home and talking to us this is wonderful this is really wonderful that's why it's so easy but it's great question. to be here with you yeah. in your beautiful house where that i have visited many many times oh, and uh, we've had uh, wonderful times there that's oh, great we've had great. yes and i'll have to recall that i don't think it was a birthday party remember uh, it was a while back, and somebody said, if you had something in all the world that could happen for you, what would it be? And I said to have Justino Diaz come and sing that wonderful Curtain. quartet from Rigoletto. Oh. <laughs> and you made it happen. 
and I believe it was oh. approximately 12 or so many years ago. He said, but I'm retired. I don't, I don't, I don't sing anymore. And I said, Gustino, <laughs> you'll do it for me. It's what I want more oh, in the world. Of course, of course, of course. And we went into the music room, and I, I think Ilka was there, or there were four of you, and I remember it was one of the most magical evenings. You were so generous, you were so loving, and I still, with a full heart and a lump in my throat, remember that beautiful evening you came to sing for me. You know, what, I, uh, a technical problem, not a problem, but I cannot see your faces. You cannot see I can us. see myself twice. <laughs> Oh, there you are. There Here we you are. go. Uh -huh. Here we are. Now I can, I can see myself enough. twice, and <laughs> I can see Jan, but not Kiko. Oh, dear. Okay. Can we you have see to me see either That's better? better. Is that better? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> well, <it's good>. <laughs> But <laughs> as long anyway. as you can hear me, that's what is important. Well, I did. You, you can sit lower, and you see. Yeah. Like that? <laughs> a little Whatever. lower. Little lower. <laughs> I can see, We're going to get slumped I here. can see you up to here. No. <laughs> well, I believe the audience can see very well. So we'll just okay. have to just so, keep right. talking. Yes. Yes. Now, let's go back to some of your beginning adventures. I mean, all of this <laughs> happening to you as such a young, talented, amazing young person. I mean, you were in your early 20s. That's right. Uh, you know, it's not supposed to happen that way, but uh, uh, my career encompassed approximately 48 years wow. active singing. And right. that doesn't happen because uh, opera, you know, usually opera careers usually last maximum 15 or 20 years. That's correct. You know, yeah. Singing well. Right. But I, I did everything upside down, and uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm glad I did, because what I considered very early, I had to give up singing because of health problems, but that's right. neither here nor there. So when I was uh, 60, 63, I had to give up singing. Yeah. And I, 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 I could have sung another good 10 years. Really? Yes, 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 yes. Really? But it, it was it was a very long career to begin oh, with, so I, sure. I'm not complaining. No, you yeah. never. Oh, this you... is wonderful now. I can see you guys on, over here. On now you can see us. Oh, correct. Well, That's I, wonderful. See, You're beautiful. Is. That's great. It's yes. the way it's going. Virtual is the way so much is going. I, I love it. The colors are so vivid. Yes. You know, and yours the, too. Your camera looks great. But you know what's so wonderful about this? It's not just wonderful to visit with you, but it's wonderful to be at home, in your home, with your met uh, posters behind you and that wonderful. Oh yeah, sculpture. this is my desk. Yeah. This is your den, and and, right. and that's such a special. Makes it makes one feel or, like we're yeah, I don't, special uh, yeah. invited guests. And, like and we're the there. Quality, the quality is so good. Yes. You know, in the early days of, of uh, what was the original one? What was it? Skype or something Skype. like that? Yes, uh, it was a Skype. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. There were so many technologies, but the original ones, uh, you know, they were young and uh, they were beginning, but this is, this right. is fabulous. It's wonderful. This is amazing. Yes, it's, it really is. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, better than being in a in a in a studio, a TV studio. Yeah, it is. So cold. It is. It is. Yeah, it's it sitting is. around. Yeah. We have a few wires around, but generally speaking, it's kind of homey here. Yeah. We're sitting on our little sofa, and we have some little coffee tables here, and it's a little, worth it. little yeah. drink over here on the side, and a little <laughs> drinking pool. Okay. <laughs> I, I I wanted to call this cocktails at the Cannon Club, but my sister said, oh, that's, that wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the, I, with the teetotalers, that wouldn't go over very well. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Ustino, oh, yes. tell us a little, I'm sure there are many histories and many anecdotes of that opening of the Met uh, oh, yeah. with, with uh, Madame Price. What would you like yes. to share with you? Any anecdotes, any crazy things, any, I'm sure there. Well, I, I missed all of the good stuff that was happening out in the lobby. Oh, you know, all, all, all the big, all the big shots in the world, you know, right. the vice, uh, the first lady was there, Mrs. Johnson and the presidents of uh, several countries, including uh, the Philippines, Imelda and ah. Ferdinand Marcos, Marcos. Uh, the, the heads of the, uh, all the leading opera companies in the world. Wow. Uh, movie stars and uh, so the Rockefellers, uh, David Rockefeller. The, oh, the, yeah, all of yeah. the Rockefellers of, the, of those the, in the mid '60s. Yeah. By the way, the year uh, Kiko was 1965. Oh, 65. That, yes. That, no, 66. I'm sorry. Oh, 66. 66. Okay. The Met. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, 1966. Right. 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 Wow. And. Uh, who was the uh, conductor of the orchestra at that time? The, the conductor was Thomas Schippers. Oh, Thomas Schippers. Okay, yes. 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 yes, yes I remember. And uh, he, he was wonderful. And uh, the production, the music was fantastic. Right. Uh, some people complained about the production. But uh, all I have in my head is great, great, great memories great uh i i relive that a anytime i want yes uh, that's fantastic oh, oh sure oh, i i yeah. have a wonderful memory right. and uh thank goodness i can i can uh access that episode right my and, uh, to me it was so natural for me you know right i said right. okay i'm 26 years old, and I'm inaugurating the Metropolitan Opera. You know, that's the way life is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, norm, a normal new, uh, another, new day. Another day. Yeah, another day, another day. In the life of Pustino. <laughs> that's right. That's what you're supposed to do. I know, you know, that uh, brings back the most that youth is wasted on young people. And we say that, I say that at least seven times a week. <laughs> I know, so I know. So, yeah, so, sometimes I feel that way. I, I just uh, passed my 80th birthday, so uh, so I can, uh, I sometimes say that too. <laughs> Every, everybody thinks that everybody should do the things the way you did them. I and mean, you can't pretend to, to have people follow your example, my God. I mean, it would be a real mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't do everything right, but we must have done enough, enough right to, to be, get there. Yeah, get yeah, there. Yes, oh. yes, That's yes, right. yes, yes. And after that, I'm fascinated because you have had the the the, the, the privilege and the pleasure to work with uh, Herben von Karajan, George Schulte, all the great oh, yes. conductors of the t yeah. uh, late 20th century. Do you have oh, any yeah. anecdotes you want to share with the no, audience well, about Von Karajan the, the, or Schulte? Well, well, yeah, yeah, Schulte and uh, uh, George Zell, Zell, Loring, Loring, Manzel. Loring, Mazel, Bernstein. Bernstein. I did, I did, uh, I did my first Ninth Symphony with George Cleveland Orchestra. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, and uh, I did my first Verdi Requiem I there did in are. London. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's a picture of Mrs. Johnson in the middle. Um, Mrs. Uh, Marcos and Ferdinand Marcos. Uh -huh. uh, and a whole bunch of people. I can't make them out. Wow. Uh, and I know. Yeah. Probably it's, it's just kind of a, a, a wonderful blur of pleasure trying to go back oh, yes. and remember all those things. Yes, I, and of course my parents were there from Puerto Rico, 
and uh, um, my dear uncle Hector uh -huh. uh, was there. And what can I tell you? It, was, it was a one great big party, you know, yes. a celebration, yeah. Right. I, you know, my mother went to school with your father, so she followed your career from the very, very early ages. And I, so I s said at the beginning of the program, um, my uncle, he was one of the judges of the Supreme Court here in Puerto Rico, had loved, great music lover. He was the one who brought to my house the Life magazine with your picture and with Leontine Price. Who was that? Serpent Who was that? over her breast. Uh, my cousin, my uncle, uh, Carlos Santana Becerra. He was a oh, great yes, music, yes. yeah, a great music lover, and he was so proud of you. And he, I was, I don't know, it was, well, it was first grade so or something like that. Absolutely. And uh, that made an impression that I still remember to this day when I saw up in the page the display of that. That it was fantastic. I and then I had the honor and the privilege to do a recital with Justino. Oh, you and I and have worked several, several, several times. times yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> He's wonderful. a wonderful accompanist, somebody to make music with. Thank because you. Because he's such a he's such a wonderful pianist. Thank and, you. you know, <laughs> what else can you ask? You know, it was great. No, those things are person. very important. Yes, to yes. Totally, totally. <laughs> Sensitive. It was a great, great pleasure to collaborate oh, with you. Oh, my goodness. You. We yeah. did. Are we ready to yeah, hear let's, let's some hear Justino? Yeah, let's hear a little Justino. Uh, uh, that uh, your, your pick. Choice. <laughs> your, your choice. Your choice, Dauris. <laughs> your charge over there. With this your, guy is phenomenal, Dauris. With a with oh, the, yeah. all machine IT with machinery and the buttons. On it. I have no clue what he does over there. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, 
I hear the aria, I think of you. Nobody sings it like you do. Well, that, uh, that role, Escamillo, has, during my lifetime, uh, has been responsible for paying my rent a lot, <laughs> a lot, lot of time. Of I'm sure. A lot of times. Oh, totally. It's, it's, it, he has been very good to me. Very good. And my whole family, my daughter, my wife. That's great. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, uh, Jan, that was the closing of the regatta in 92. Oh, yes. You had all those ships going by your I house, know, I remember? Know, I do. And uh, when they returned to Liverpool, that concert took place in Liverpool, and that was 19. The King and Queen of Spain were there. You're right. Uh, and. Uh, the master of ceremony was uh, none other than uh, Peter Ustinov. Thank you very oh, much. Yes. <laughs> so I, 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 Monsieur Caballé was there, yeah. and uh, um, um, uh, Alfredo Kraus, Dmitry Horovsky, a uh, whole bunch of very, very talented people, right. and I. And I was there representing and you were. Puerto Rico. <laughs> that's Puerto right. Rico, yes. Right. As, as I'm always representing Puerto Rico, because <laughs> that's, that's what I am. Yes. I am, uh, <laughs> I am a, a Puerto Rican based baritone. That's what I am. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's you know, great. Jan, you know very well, Jan, you know, Puerto Ricans were very proud of our little island, and we love this little island very much especially recently that it has suffered so many bad turns of events. But uh, yes. there we go. Oh, I must we say... Will yeah, go ahead. We will survive. We will survive. Oh, like yeah, this. Always yeah, survive. Always. We always and you know, yeah. that's <laughs> why I love doing this program because it's getting so many people are tuning in all around the world and you know here we are here we are little puerto rico we're here <laughs> totally. and look who's with us the people who have yeah. been receptive 
it meant Puerto Rico for years, for decades, and that's what Kiko and I are so And you know, to. I was uh, in Buenos Aires two years ago, <clears throat> and I was at the Teatro Colón, of course, and uh, you know that Antonio Paoli was the first to sing there with a production that came uh, kind of an ill-fated production that came from Rome, the Opera of Rome, which was not a great opera company, but yet the fact is that another Puerto Rican uh, uh, inaugurated one of the greatest theaters in the world, the Teatro Colón. And you, in the 20th century, inaugurated the Met. So, hey, that's we're right. scoring high. That's very good. Well, <laughs> that's what we do. That's what we do, right? <laughs> that's our job. Yeah. Our it's job. We have to that's great. jump up and grab those straws when they're passed to us. And that's what it is. I think we should hear another thing. We yes, just got in the absolutely. musical mood. Musical mood. What have you got for us, Dowdies? <laughs>
<laughs> That's, That's a lot of great. fun. <laughs> Where was that, Justino? That was in El Morro, right next right here. to you. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, that was the uh, celebrating, uh, celebrating the the 100th uh, birthday of Rafael Hernandez, oh. our our most famous yes. composer. Right, really. And uh, everybody was there. You know, Los Panchos, uh -huh. uh, Ruth Fernandez, wow. Rocio Jorado. Wow. Uh, you, Your Anita name, Nazario, of, you know, everybody. <laughs> everybody. You know, it was a, a big, a big, big concert. Wonderful! Wow. <laughs> oh, that was. A, I, I, can I tell you my Rafael Hernandez story? Please, please. I was walking by the old famous uh, uh, cafe downtown, and I, I don't know who I was walking with. And somebody grabbed my arm and he said, "Come over here. You need to meet somebody." And he brought me right <laughs> straight in front of Raphael Hernandez and he said, May you meet this wonderful gentleman who has written such a wonderful, wonderful music for Puerto Rico. And I, all I can do is tell you, I met him and he was wonderful and it was so lovely. I felt so honored. Oh, this he was, was in the 60s. Oh, he was, he was, he was a genius. He was a yeah. genius. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the melody is, is known the world over. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes, absolutely. You know when when uh, he he went with Casals to the White House, mm. and Kennedy turned around to him to mm -hmm. Rafael Hernandez and said, "Oh, Mr. Cumbanchero." <laughs> <laughs> so wow. you know. Yeah. John F. Kennedy knew. You knew. El Cumbachero. <laughs> Everybody knew. You know, yeah, yeah. He was. Uh, he had a, a great, great following and career everywhere. Everywhere. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Mi Diego, someone by heaven. That's yeah. from Noel. Estrada. Noel Estrada. Yes. 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 Uh, and you know, the contribution has been very substantial. Yes, yeah, and we yeah, sing yeah, these yeah. things regularly in the Cannon Club. I tell you, it's, it's wonderful to celebrate the works of these great guys. Yes. And uh, Justino, what have you been doing through this pandemic? How's your life nowadays? What's, uh... but it's very quiet. Um, uh -huh. uh, I, I watch a lot of... Uh, Netflix. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I listen to a lot of, lot of classical music. Uh -huh. My favorites, you know, I, I, I play over and over all of Mozart piano concerti, which oh, are my yes. favorites. And, and there's yeah. like, what, like 26 of them? 25? 27. 24? 27 of them. 27. Yeah. There yeah. you go. So I have a big choice, and I always go back <laughs> to the beginning. Yeah, can never get tired of that. <laughs> never get tired of Mozart. No. Mozart, his operas, and his piano concerti are the, the best output. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no, no question about it. And that helps me pass the time, you know. Great. Uh, I try not to watch too much television, the news uh, especially. Well, yes. you, you can't help it, you know. Right, yeah. But right. Uh, uh, let's hope that it's soon over. Yes. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Everything, right. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> scary no, stuff out no there. No more. Stop there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go on to, let's go back to music. <laughs> go back yes, to music. Yes, yes, music yes. is the best. And it makes Justino, um, also you, I've seen um, a few of your films. You did um, right. Otello with Placido. Uh, I yes. think I, I missed that. I haven't seen. It. I have to look. But you, I saw the yeah. other one you did. Which was was that one? Uh, you uh, Callas Forever. Oh, you did Callas Forever. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Which was uh, yeah. Uh, that was a very short role that I did. I, I played myself, actually. <laughs> That's good. And, uh, That's an honor. 
<laughs> no, yeah, and uh, that was stretching the point that I could very well have uh, s s uh, participated in Carlos's uh, master classes, mm -hmm. and uh, because I was around at the Met while uh, doing doing Scarpia. Yeah. Uh, and with the time that she was uh, doing the master classes. Right, 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 right. Did you do Tosca, the movie also? Were you in that one? No, 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 I wasn't in that, no. Uh -huh. But I, I have tons of uh, performances of Tosca yes. on YouTube. Right. So whoever wants to, you can visit it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, YouTube. It's all, all there. <laughs> uh, no wonder uh, it's very hard. I think television is, as per se, is going down. Life is too exciting. Who needs to tune into some, uh, to some uh, continued uh, uh, story? I don't know. Yeah. My life is so exciting. I I find it scary to watch uh, uh, films because. Uh, they don't compete very well. <laughs> My life is uh, too exciting. You know, Jan, the the last song that is uh, that you have there. I wish to dedicate to you uh, on nice. your birthday. It's a love song, and I mean it from the very depth of my heart. <laughs> I I admire you. And I love your beautiful house, dash, boutique hotel. <laughs> and uh, nobody mentions that on your program. And uh, I'm going to do that because I feel like it. It's one of the most beautiful places in the planet. Right. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. From it's you. Yeah. It's and magical. I so dedicate, magical. Dedicate this song to you, especially. And the song is Some Enchanted Evening. That's right. So we have Some Enchanted Evening? Of course we do. We are always enchanting, enchanted. It's just wonderful. Some Enchanted Evening Never let 
Uh, it's amazing that you say that, you know, because uh, we're both from the same club, the 800 Club. <laughs> yeah, 800 <laughs> Club. <laughs> I, tell, I tell people, you know, I, I mean, they, they say, why do you tell people how old you are? I say, because I'm yes, proud exactly. of every year. I right. earned everything yeah. from yeah. every year. And why would I try to hide Exactly. And, yeah, growing old. Uh, it's not for sissies, as uh, <laughs> Betty Davis once said, you know. She was right. And it's true. So oh. thank you for your great invitation, <laughs> Jen. Every day. I, it was... I face that and I say, oh my God, don't be a sissy. <laughs> don't be a sissy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, my hearing oh, yeah. isn't the same. My eyesight needs to <laughs> Uh, but nobody notices. <laughs> oh. And that's the game. We're not to let them know. <laughs> exactly, exactly. They don't know that I reach for the elbow of the most handsome man in the room. Thank not you. because of <laughs> I can't stand up. My balance is horrible. <laughs> oh. I think we have an encore, a Justino. We have oh, the really? Quartet of Rigoletto. Uh, Do we? You're kidding me. And Ñapa. It's called Ñapa. Ñapa is a French With word. With Justino? With Justino? Ñapa. In Bellas Artes. In Bellas Artes. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yes, when I did Rigoletto there. Yes. This is what you did for me, remember? She oh loves that She's singing to me for decades. <laughs> <laughs> Just sing it. <laughs> Let's have it. Oh, 
Lovely. Oh, <laughs> oh that was wonderful. That was the best nyapa I've ever had. That was one of the wonderful. great, great, one of the great pieces of music ever, ever yes. written. No right. question about it. No, oh. Absolutely. We, you know, but both Kiko and I, being musicians and performers, we're so lucky to be recreating yes. these wonderful pieces of music by the great masters. Right, our great masters. And uh, all the time, uh, the, this great privilege is not given to every human being in the world. You know, we, you and I, are very lucky. That's right. We are very lucky people, human beings. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Justino. It has been an honor and a pleasure to have you here to uh, night with all of us and our audience. Thank you so much and for being here. You have it's taken so our you. breath away. A pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Please, please come back. We would love yeah, I to have you. I will. Chat. I will. Because this we'll is chat important. Some other time. Yeah. We have to keep this going because I don't. If as this grows. I think people in the world need to know that Puerto Rico is full of the most wonderful talent and artists. And I am we want to bring this. We want to bring this it forward. Is. It's a, we're very special people. I'm sorry Absolutely. to say it. But we are. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and people are very blessed. My Amongst eyes. us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether it's, your rig up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether it's this enchanted evening or the rigoletto. <laughs> it's wonderful. Oh, there's nothing like music to awaken all the all the most wonderful feelings that you've ever had. Yeah. Thank you. You can so go much. back to your party now. <laughs> <laughs> you are the party. <laughs> Wonderful. You have been the party. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so you. much, Hustino. Mm, Hustino. Great having you. We love we'll you. Thank have you, you again. so much. Uh, so hopefully wonderful very soon. to have you. Very soon. You're so great. Well, what's another <gasps> one of those I special evenings? I feel so fulfilled. <laughs> I really just, Thank you so much. There's nothing more Dan, wonderful than having a Dan, beautiful song right. dedicated to you. I know. Oh, what a wonderful guy. That Justino special, has special. got to be one of my favorite people. Yes, yeah, he's, he's so great. humble. He's so loving, and he's so talented. Right. So big, accomplished. Big, big, he's done big, so big much, talent. and he's done so much right. for the island yes, of Puerto yes, Rico. Yes, really. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Thank you so good. much, everybody, from around the piano at the Cannon Club for another edition. Uh, stay with us. For tomorrow we have a wonderful program by the Polish pianist, American pianist, Martin Labazewicz. Uh, Saturday, I think we have a surprise. I yeah, think uh, another have, uh, wonderful Jesus, Jesus Morales, Morales cellist from Puerto Chalice. Rico, who's established in Philadelphia. Uh, on Sunday we it's have the wonderful too. American pianist Norman Krieger the head of the music department at Indiana University. And on Monday, we'll have a uh, French hornist, uh, Javier Gandara. Gandara. Uh, he, again, belo uh, belongs to the Met Orchestra. He's uh, one of the French horns at the Met Orchestra. There's so many talented, wonderful Puerto Ricans out there. And we enjoy so much bringing them to you and having you able to visit them in their homes and share, from their studios share with the world so and to share yeah. their talents again thank you so thank much you for being with us. and until tomorrow evening tomorrow bye bye
how spectacular the students are. Can we talk to the students? Yes. Is he there? Are you, are you still there? <laughs>